it's been a long time don't even come for me i already know i got some tea to, to, to pour so grab your cups and uh you know come on in come on in it is 5 3 p.m i am in colorado springs colorado we moved from pueblo that's a whole nother situation and it's still in processing right now but to make a long story short my husband still didn't find a job he had plenty of opportunities didn't find a job and um he's a stay-at-home dad right now um we moved to colorado springs um we moved in with my niece obviously we couldn't continue to pay for the apartment house my car is still in the shop i'm getting her out in two weeks um i'm have a new place of employment um the pay increase went up seven dollars so i have that um and i'm in my niece's car right now um, i'm currently her roommate we're going half on everything um she's talking about having us take over the lease in august when the lease is due um i went to goodwill and i got some scrubs i got extra larges but i think i should have just went with the large because i'm swimming in these things um i haven't gotten my other scrubs out of storage which are smalls and mediums and I know my big ass ain't gonna fit in them <laughs> but um a few weeks ago before we actually moved another reason why I lost our place was I was out of work for two weeks me and Junior had caught something called para influenza three he caught it first and I caught it first um and I was out of work for two weeks one week for him one week for me <laughs> Um, knew that the job wasn't going to be suffice enough to afford any place let alone where we were so I got a different job in Colorado Springs making over $20 an hour in nursing and working the 7p to 7a shift completely not used to it tonight's my first night I had a day and a half of orientation tonight's my first night of training while I was sick, I lost 10 pounds. But guess who's been emotionally eating that part? So I gained back every single pound that I lost, and I'm 255 right now. I got down to 245. So we are. I started my fast. I had um, something to eat. I started my fast um, at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and... I have um, three monsters, I have my circle, and that's all the caffeine I'm allowing myself for the night to try to keep me awake. I did go this morning at 7.30 to the job to get um, morning me uh, uh, monthly off a uh, nurse's meeting. They're mandatory, you don't go, no call, no show. So right up so I got up this morning and then we went down to Pueblo and inquired about the car and things like that yada yada I think you guys are caught up um but yeah I gotta pay six hundred dollars to get the car out the shop now because they messed up another part and the warranty didn't cover it but they only covered part half of it so I gotta come up with the six hundred three hundred dollar deductible and then an additional three hundred dollars for the extra part that they had to put on um I gotta catch up on my car payment uh catch up on my uh the rent from the other place he's threatening to put it on my credit if he can find room so be it um I'm wanting to file bankruptcy because of that I just don't know how it's going to affect us trying to take over my niece's lease. Um, it's This is why emotional eating was going on. Um, if you can't tell in my voice, when we did move up here, because Colorado Springs is an additional 2,000 feet in elevation from Pueblo, I think I'm dealing with allergies slash altitude sickness because... Um, Where my niece lives is surrounded by trees yeah i had a big tree outside our house but it wasn't <laughs> it's like she's in a forest 
I mean, she's in a, a gated community, but it's like a forest, okay? And uh, my my, no, my nose is is really really suffering. Um, I've been coughing. I got my inhaler here, and I, I just feel like my my behind is falling clean the hell apart. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm on my way to Walmart to grab something real quick and uh, head to work really early. Um, I did come home and fall asleep for a few hours, so I did manage to get a little bit of sleep. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to start back fresh today. I'm going to start back up my vlogs, start back up my videos, and things like that to get back on track um, with you guys. Because you guys are my support system. So, let me get into Walmart, grab what I need to get, and then head off to work. So, I will check out with you guys on another video. I did set up the fasting timer for a 36 hour fast. Um, I should just set it for the three days that I'm working. Um, we start training tonight and I did run into a prior co-worker. So her and I will be working the same shift, which I am so thankful for because we used to work together years ago when I lived here. Um, I have my uh, earbuds for when I go on my break because I can't have them on the floor. Other staff members violated that. Um, let's see here. Y'all, what's in front of me right now is Pikes Peak. The landscape, mountain view of Pikes Peak is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm at 6,000 feet in elevation right now for the Colorado Springs area and realizing a couple hundred miles that's 14,000 feet in elevation insane I know it but I feel so much better here um, I'm just glad to be back in Colorado period it didn't necessarily matter where but um, I ended up also having a fallout with my son's godmother's son. Um, he came out of pocket and, uh, obviously she's going to stick up for her child. And I somehow got dragged in to his little issue. And if you guys know me, you know I'm not going to tolerate nobody talking shit. <laughs> Especially when you're wrong, you're wrong. Anyways, uh, yeah. Misery loves company and ignorance is bliss, right? So, uh, I barely talking to her. Um, my niece ended up having some problems with her father, which is Junior's godfather. But they since um, finished that situation... And I'm sticking up for my niece because her happiness matters. Um, her father is still living back in the 80s mindset of street code and all this other kind of stuff. And uh, it wasn't pretty for her because uh, you guys also know that I'm very empathic. And I feed off of her energy. So her vibes were not... They were, they were suffocating. Um, and... I had to uh, make sure she was okay with everything going on mentally. So I always put myself to the side when I have family going through some things to make sure that they're okay. That's just me. And I don't mind being that person because I know, you know, she's young and her boyfriend is like a nephew to me anyway. And um, yeah, so. Let me get in a Walmart, grab what I'm going to grab, and get back to start heading to work. But you guys, um, that's the update.